In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for CuCl2 plus Na2CO3. This is copper 2 chloride. This is sodium carbonate. The first thing we need to do with net ionic equations, we have to balance the molecular equation. This is the molecular equation here. So I can see there's two sodium atoms here, just one here. Let's put a 2 in front of the sodium chloride. That balances the sodiums. Now I have two chlorine atoms, but I have two over here, and everything else is the same. This is the balanced molecular equation. Now we can write the state for each substance. Chlorides are very soluble, so we're going to put AQ, aqueous, that'll dissolve in water, sodium compounds, if you know your solubility rules, very soluble, AQ. And in general, carbonates here, we have copper 2 carbonate. Carbonates in general are insoluble except for elements in group 1, like sodium and potassium, and then ammonium carbonate would be soluble as well. But in general, insoluble. That means when these two react, this forms a solid. It falls to the bottom of the test tube as a precipitate. So we have the solid here, and then we have sodium chloride, so a sodium compound, chlorine. That's going to be aqueous. So this will be our precipitate. Next, we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions for the complete ionic equation. We don't know the charge on copper, but chlorine, the chloride ion, that's always 1 minus. Since we have two of them, this has to be 2 plus. So we have the copper 2 ion, plus we have two of those chloride ions. And I won't write the states now. Let's write that at the end. Sodium, group 1, that's 1 plus. And the whole carbonate ion, 2 minus. That's a good one to memorize. So two sodium ions, and then we have the carbonate ion, that's CO3, 2 minus. And these are the reactants in our net ionic equation. For the products, we don't split solids apart in net ionic equations. So we just write CuCO3, keep that together, and then positive and negative. So two sodium ions, just like the reactants. And then we have the two chloride ions, also just like the reactants. This is the complete ionic equation. Now we can cross out the spectator ions. They're on both sides. So in the reactants here, I see I have two chloride ions. In the products here, I have two chloride ions. Those are spectator ions. We could cross those out. Reactants, we have these two sodium ions. And in the products, spectator ions. We cross them out. What's left, that's the net ionic equation for CuCl2 plus Na2CO3. I'll clean this up and write the states. We'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for copper 2 chloride plus sodium carbonate. You note charge is conserved. You have 2 plus, 2 minus. That gives us a net charge of 0 here. This is neutral net charge of 0. If you count the atoms, they're balanced as well. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for CuCl2 plus Na2CO3. Thanks for watching.